For decades, India relied on imported semiconductors for space missions. But that is changing now. IIT Madras and ISRO have developed IRIS, India's first RISC-V based microprocessor for space applications. This Made in India chip was designed, fabricated, packaged and booted entirely within the country. Built on the Shakti processor baseline, it's a breakthrough in India's self-reliance in semiconductor tech. I'm very thankful to both ISRO and Semiconductor Laboratory Chandigarh. I'm thankful to the Chairman ISRO, Dr. Narayanan and Sri Padma Kumar, who is the Director of IISU, uh, for enabling this partnership, wherein a lot of inputs had come from ISRO to make this aerospace quality. And I'm very happy to note that ISRO will be using this in many of their coming projects. IIT Madras mentioned that this ensures advanced false tolerance and computing reliability for ISRO missions. Why does this matter, you ask? Space missions need radiation-hardened, high-reliability processors. With the global chip shortage, self-sufficiency is very crucial. India is building its own semiconductor ecosystem. How was IRIS built, but? Let us tell you. It was designed and tested at IIT Madras, fabricated at SCL Chandigarh, India's premier semiconductor lab. Was packaged by Tata Advanced Systems in Karnataka. The motherboard development happened in PCB Power in Gujarat and was assembled by Sarma SGS in Chennai, which means, in the truest sense, Ahatmanirbhar Bharat. This is India's first fully in house semiconductor project for space applications. What makes IRIS special but? RISC-V architecture, open source, scalable for various applications. It has a 64-bit controller, which is built for strategic computing and IoT fault-tolerant design. It ensures high reliability in space environments. Multiple boot modes are there and it has a hybrid memory as well, which is future-proof and adaptable. What's next, you might ask? ISRO is planning flight tests very soon. This chip could power future space missions, satellites and deep space probes. Why this changes everything for India's AI and space tech is that India is no longer just a chip consumer. It's becoming a chip producer. Government-backed initiatives like Digital India RISC-V, DIR-5 are pushing for full-stack semiconductor development. With companies like, say, Tata, SCL and startups entering the space ecosystem, India is gearing up for a silicon revolution. What will the impact be? Let us tell you. Self-reliance in aerospace and defense. India will now enter the global semiconductor race in full throttle. It will strengthen AI, IoT and advanced computing sectors. And all of this is just the beginning. While ISRO is building space-grade chips, India's commercial semiconductor industry is also taking off. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav just announced that India's first commercial semiconductor chip developed by Tata Electronics will be launched by September or October 2025. The chip will be produced at India's first semiconductor lab in Dholera, Gujarat, in partnership with Power Chip Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, PSMC. This is part of Semicon India, a 76,000 crore INR initiative to establish India's semiconductor and display ecosystem. To power India's AI revolution, the government is launching the India AI mission portal soon, providing 14,000 GPUs for compute access. 10,000 GPUs are already secured from major players like Yota Data Service, Tata Communications, AWS and E2E Networks. The remaining 4,000 GPUs will be procured from Geo Platforms and Control S data centers. 70% are high-end NVIDIA H100s, enabling advanced AI training. Why does all of this matter, if you might ask? Well, it will democratize AI, lowering barriers for small players as well. It will accelerate India's entire AI ecosystem. The message is loud and clear. India is no longer just a consumer of technology, but a creator. What's the next frontier? Scaling from 180 nanometer to sub-28 nanometer chip manufacturing, as India's fab ecosystem matures even more. The world is watching. Is India ready to lead? I think it is. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you like this video, do not forget to share it with a fellow AI enthusiast. And of course, for more such real-time live updates from the world of AI and tech just like this, don't forget to subscribe to AIM Media House because think AI, think AIM.